What's up guys, this is Mehran and welcome to another tutorial. In today's video, I'll be showing you 3 ways by which you can easily bypass the iCloud activation log from your iPhone and iPad at your home without having any technical expertise. So if your iPhone, iPad or iPod has logged out and now you are unable to unlock iCloud lock, then no worries as you have come to the right place. So without wasting any time, let's jump into the first method. So the first way to unlock your iCloud activation lock is using the 10 or share for you cable application which is totally supporting the latest iOS 18 beta version. In my opinion, this is one of the most easiest way to bypass the iCloud lock from any iOS device. Not just the iCloud but you can also unlock screen passcode, touch ID and as well as face ID. It can also remove the Apple ID without password and without losing your precious data, MDM lock and screen time can be bypassed as well and if you have forgot some of the safe password you can view them as well such as apple id and wi-fi password so the first thing is that just download your desired version from the official site which is available in the description and as well as in the comment section once the downloading is done install the tenor share for you key application into your desktop or mac and then just simply run it now you can see we have got all the tools on a single main interface. You can unlock screen passcode, MDM lock, Apple ID and all these features are available here. As you are about to remove the iCloud lock, so I will click on remove iCloud activation lock. Now make sure your iPhone is connected to the desktop and then just simply click on start button. The process is quite simple and easy just follow with me so you don't get confused meanwhile the process. Now first of all your iPhone will get into recovery mode once you start the process then just wait for a while after that you will be required to take your iphone into dfu mode if you are using the iphone 8 and above model just press the volume down button and power button for around five seconds and meanwhile the apple logo will appear then just keep pressing the volume down button and release the power button as the instruction will be given inside the application as well so you can just follow that and once your iPhone gets into DFU mode, the application will start jailbreaking your iPhone or iPad which is the part of the process and after that, we would be able to bypass iCloud lock and probably it's gonna take that much time. And as you can see, the iPhone has been successfully jailbreak. Now again, click on the start button. It may require you to take your iPhone into the DFU mode. So just follow the same process as we did before by using the side buttons and once you are there, the application will automatically start bypassing the iCloud activation log and we are almost there. Meanwhile the process, it will take around 5 minutes and then as you can see the iCloud activation log would be removed from your iPhone and you will be able to use your iPhone just like before. So it's that simple, by using the Tenor Share for UK application, it's all in one application which can easily solve many iOS problems such as iCloud lock, screen time lock, Apple ID and all these logs can be removed with a single application. The download link is mentioned down below. Just let me know if you guys have got any questions in your mind regarding Tenorshare for your key application. Now let's jump to the second method. So in this method, we will be using chat GPT. This method is also trending nowadays and many people has successfully bypassed iCloud activation log. So I thought I should include this method as well. So first of all, open your browser and search for the unlockhair.com. This is basically just like a chat GPT which is AI tool by which you can bypass the iCloud activation log from any iOS device. It can be iPad. So click on remove activation log you can see on the screen. Select your iOS device which you want to open. As I mentioned, it does support iPad and Apple Watch as well. I will go with the iPhone. Then you need to enter your iPhone or iPad. I mean which you can find by pressing the power button on your locked iPhone otherwise you can find out that in the settings and about section so when you enter your IME code here click on next after that you will be required to enter your email and your name just make sure to enter that email which has the iCloud lock on your iPhone the hint would be given on your iCloud iOS device after that tick both the option make sure you are using this i just make sure you are using this AI tool for your devices and you are not supposed to open any stolen device as this video is just for educational purposes not for any illegal activities 
after clicking the captcha just click on start the process now we are almost there let's check our email as we will get one time code on your email as you can see it's right here copy that code and click on confirm the order now paste here the code which we have copied from the previous page and click on start unlocking and that's it within few minutes it will bypass your iCloud activation lock as it is that simple just get back from your phone which is showing the iCloud lock by swiping the screen and after that you wouldn't get any lock page on your iOS device just set up your device and enjoy using your iPhone just like before this method is a bit technical compared to the first method but you can bypass iCloud lock using this AI tool and the final method we have to bypass iCloud activation lock is actually without a computer yes you hear that right you can also bypass iCloud activation lock without a computer as well but this method is a bit technical and also time taking in this method we will be using the DNS server which is basically an IP you can set that just follow the process and get rid of the iCloud lock on any iOS device first you need to connect your locked iPhone into the Wi-Fi and then just stay on that screen click on power button and you will get these options just select your Wi-Fi settings and after that click on your Wi-Fi option on the right side now here you can see we have DNS section click on that and now you are required some IPs I'm mentioning that on the screen as well if you are living in Europe or USA or even in Russia you will be required to use your own regional code in this video I'm using USA code as I said this process is a bit technical so now you need to enter this code in all these servers we have to create some server as well by pressing these plus buttons just follow this process as I am showing you after that come to the server domain and enter the same code which we have used above make sure you have typed your own original name as well such as USA if you are living in Europe make sure you have enter Europe I know it's time taking but if you don't have an access to the computer then you have to go through this all process once you are done click on save button on the right top corner next you have to forget the Wi-Fi network on which you have already connected as you are required to connect to the same Wi-Fi network once you connect to the Wi-Fi network click on next and once you reach to the lock screen again you have to type your own regional code copy that code and pass that in the password section now you have to keep clicking on the next button it will say it's incorrect but we will try it again and again until it works as you shouldn't give up at the screen you may have to click on the next button for around seven or eight times i'm not sure how much time you have to press it but you have to do it until it works as it should probably work just like this in my case hopefully this method will work and then you can set up your own iphone so these were some three best methods for bypassing iCloud activation log from any ios device in my opinion the best method is that the first one by using the tenor share for your key as it's quite simple and easy and anyone can do that without any technical expertise let me know if you guys have got any question regarding any of these process thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one